Good day, one more fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. My name is Jaden. I'm at Adelaide Airport. Today I'm going to fly Virgin Australia via Melbourne to Sydney. It's going to be a longer video because I'm going to include a Melbourne vlog in between. So I've got nine hours there, so I'm going to catch up with some people and explore the city. Now, without further ado, it's actually a bit cold. Let's go in and check in with Virgin. It's now the peak hour at Adelaide Airport. There are long queues at both check-in and security. Thankfully with my Virgin Australia gold status, I could use the priority check-in and priority security screening. So my booking today is a one-way trip to Sydney via Melbourne. It's a choice fare with baggage allowance and I pay $152. If I were to choose a non-stop flight to Sydney, it would cost me $190 and that's a light fare so no baggage allowance. So today I decided to go with a cheaper option via Melbourne. That means spending 9 hours there, but then I'm able to catch up with my friend, have a baggage checked all the way to Sydney, and this way I earn a lot more velocity points and status credits. Before my flight to Melbourne, I was able to use the Virgin Lounge at Adelaide Airport. I was able to also guess my housemate. Virgin Australia allows members to guess in a non-flying guest. So you can also invite your family or friend who's dropping you at the airport. This morning, the Virgin Australia Lounge is offering a variety of cold and hot food. And of course, there is the make coffee. So my housemate Kaylee, she's going to go to Port Lincoln with Qantas Link. She's on a work trip. Very professional. For my 10 past 6 flight, the boarding is supposed to be at 5.45, but it started at 5.30 and the final call at 5.40. And I had just ordered a latte to dine in and I had to change it to a takeaway. Our first flight to Melbourne is a 11 year old Virgin Australia Boeing 737-800 Victor Hotel, Yankee, India, Lima. Welcome on board Virgin Australia 737 Standard Economy. My seat today for the first flight is 8 Foxtrot. A quick coat hook check and leg room check. <laughs> Conveniently between every two seats you'll find two USB boards. We're currently waiting, we're number 3 for takeoff. So this screen recording is from Flight Radar 24, our flight VA204 to Melbourne. Ahead of us, Qantas Embraer for Brisbane and Jetstar A320 for Kent. And that's taking off right now. Right behind us, another Virgin plane for Sydney. And again, this Qantas link, Embraer is going to Brisbane. So I'm still sipping my oat latte that I took away from the lounge. Entertainment wise, there's no magazine on board and there's no TV. However, you can connect to the Wi-Fi on board. You can check out the flight map, the weather, and enjoy complimentary access to entertainment like TV shows and movies. You'll however have to pay for internet access. The in-flight service started soon after takeoff. Coffee, tea and water complimentary on this short flight to Melbourne. The service was really quick on this flight despite a very full load and that's because a lot of passengers didn't even opt for the coffee and tea, let alone purchasing items from the onboard menu. I just went for a simple cup of still water. Devices are unplugged. You can keep using large devices. 
Before long, we already started our descent into Melbourne Tullamarine. It's a very uneventful flight, so far the journey has been very smooth. From check-in to security and the airport lounge, everything was perfect, and our cabin crew were really friendly. I'd say it's a great way to start a full day of travelling. That's a beautiful Malaysia Airlines Airbus A330 Negaraku livery. In my channel, you'll find plenty of Malaysia Airlines true reports. Do check them out if you're interested. Also, for those new to my channel, I upload a new true report every single week, sometimes twice a week. So be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you won't miss out again. Good morning and welcome to Melbourne. Virgin Australia is proud to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we walk, work, live and fly. And we pay our respects to elders past, present and future. The time here is approaching 8 in the morning and we'll be getting into the gate shortly. For everyone's safety, please keep your seatbelt fastened and the island exits clear until the seatbelt sign is switched off. Remember to take care when you open the lockers and make sure you do have everything before you leave. At this stage, you'll be leaving through the forward and the rear doors. If you're leaving through the rear door, you'll have stairs to go down. So please mind your step as you exit and hold the handrails and remain on the outside of the markers on the tarmac. If you're not comfortable with using stairs, just stay seated and leave through the forward door when it's clear. As you'll be refueling, smoking, vaping or using e-cigarettes is not allowed on the tarmac or anywhere in the terminal. And you can now take your devices off flight mode, but note that you cannot use them on the tarmac. Well, we thank you for choosing to fly with Virgin Australia this morning. We hope you've enjoyed the very quick flight from Adelaide and have a wonderful week ahead here in Melbourne. Thank you and good morning. Here's a Vietnam Airlines A350 arriving from Ho Chi Minh City. Within the next month or so, I'll upload a Ho Chi Minh City to Sydney True Report, so do stay tuned for that. We just made it to Melbourne Terminal 3, the Virgin Australia Terminal. So before I head out to the city, I'm going to use the lounge. Velocity Gold and Platinum members can use the lounge after they arrive. So I'm going to quickly have a coffee, reply to some texts and emails, and have a little bit more breakfast. The Melbourne lounge right now is packed. I was very lucky to find a seat next to the tarmac. Pushing back right now is Virgin Australia flight VA313 bound for Brisbane. Here's the Queen of the Skies, Singapore Airlines flight SQ7297 arriving from Auckland, New Zealand, and then onwards to Singapore later. So the breakfast offering here is a little bit different to Adelaide, but the idea is about the same, hot and cold, not too many options. This information is for guests travelling to Canberra on VA259 at the A45 service. Please make your way to gate number 6. That's out the entrance and head towards your left. Once again for those guests travelling to Canberra on VA259. After about half an hour, I thought it's about time to leave and explore Melbourne. Thank you. 
So today I'm going to do the poor man's method to go to the CBD. I'm not going to take the sky bus. Instead, I'm going to catch the bus from Terminal 4 to Broad Meadows train station and then a train to the CBD. The journey is going to be a bit longer, but you save a lot of money. It's really, really cold. Thank you. 15 minutes later, we made it to Broad Meadows. And then it's a short, comfortable walk to the platform. There's no stairs at all, so with a suitcase, it's still doable. I saw people walking down towards the underground passage so there must be a train so I decided to run, tap my card and it's too late. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I thought that was a button. Well the next train arrived in about five minute time but it's not express. We just made it to Southern Cross Station. It's always hustling and bustling here. Every time I'm here, it reminds me of the UK. The high ceiling, numerous platforms and trains. So I just wanted to see how much I spent on the train and bus. Just $4.60. Almost $15 cheaper than the Sky Bus that you might not even get a seat. Melbourne, Australia has the world's largest tram network with 28 lines covering 245 kilometers. I just wrote a postcard and I'm going to send it from the post office. I'm now walking to the Shrine of Remembrance. It's about a 20 minute walk from Flinders Street Station and Federation Square. That's an Air New Zealand Boeing 777-300ER NZ123 from Auckland.
It's time to head back to the city. Unfortunately, we're not within the free tram zone, so we have to pay. And I'm so thankful I did pay, because there were fair inspectors on board. I got a little bit hungry, so I went to this Chinese place to have some curry. The money I saved from not taking the sky bus basically bought me this curry. I then went to the Starbucks, have a coffee, catch up with my friend, and work on some iMovie stuff. After a while, I decided to head back to the airport. I got a little bit lazy, so I'm not going to do the broad metals option. Instead, I'm going to take the sky bus. Looks like we're gonna be at the airport lounge for a while, our flight got delayed. Hello, welcome back to Melbourne Airport. I'm just about to head up to security. So right now it's super busy here. Between 5 to 6 p.m. there are five Qantas flights to Sydney, four Virgin to Sydney, and Jetstar Rex one each. So yeah, you've got like over 10 flights within the hour just going to Sydney, so it'll be fun. So I dropped my bag earlier today in Adelaide and it was going to go all the way to Sydney so I don't have to worry about checking in or dropping my bag here. I went straight to security and back inside the Virgin Australia Melbourne Lounge. The Melbourne Lounge has a very beautiful unisex shower room. It's massive and nice, it's been renovated as well during COVID, but there's no bench for your bags, there's also no curtain and hair dryer. I now feel nice and clean and refreshed. I also wanted to show you this accessible bathroom. It's even bigger, it's got baby changing table, there's no step into the shower area, so it's wheelchair friendly. Now let's head outside for dinner. The food is quite different to the breakfast offering, now we've got sandwiches and pastries. Beers and wines available after 12 p.m. Travelling to Adelaide on flight VA237. Boarding for your service has now commenced through gate number 11. Our flight to Sydney is going to depart from gate number 2. The aircraft is arriving late from Adelaide. So here it is. It's an ex Care, Virgin Australia, Boeing 737-800, Victor Hotel, India Juliet Corbett. The aircraft is eight years old. The pilot is taxiing really fast, by the way. Today, this particular plane has done a Melbourne to Brisbane return and Melbourne to Adelaide return, and they're now the fifth flight of the day to Sydney. The first flight of the day to Brisbane had a 10 minute delay, but the knock on effect means that our flight currently has a 40 minute delay. I was actually on this same aircraft just two weeks ago from Adelaide to Melbourne. It's good to reunite with her again. Some interesting cargo they've got there. Apparently they've got seafood, fruits, vegetables and mice on board. From the lounge is a short two minute walk to gate number two. It's chaotic here right now. Gate number one on the right is going to Sydney as well. They're leaving just a few minutes ahead of us. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hi, how are you? Welcome on your left hand side. Welcome on board Virgin Australia X Seal Care 737. Our seat today is in Economy X, so it's got extra leg room. Seat number 5 Foxtrot. Take your allocated seat, make sure your seatbelt is fastened. As always, smoking, saving, or use your e cigarettes is allowed flying with us. This seat is a little bit different, so I'll quickly go through the seat features. We've got this silver cot hook literature holder and then a mobile phone holder USB port here and then a tray table it's quite smooth you can move it back and forth but you can't fold it down here an edit seat pocket so you can see inside the content leg room is enormous again it's economy X so extra leg room From here you can see the whole Virgin Australia Melbourne Lounge. It's really massive. There's a life jacket under or beside your seat to fit and could damage the escape slides. To find out the brace positions and other important safety information. That is VA871 departing for Sydney. It's going to arrive perhaps just a minute ahead of us. On this flight to Sydney, which is actually a bit longer than Adelaide to Melbourne, they're just doing water, no coffee and tea. There's a little bit of uh, delay just due to a single runway operation in Sydney. Did our best to make up as much possible time as we could. Uh, looks like we'll have you disembarking the aircraft right on 7 o'clock this evening. Uh, it doesn't inconvenience you too much. The weather for our arrival down there, winds dropped off, it's out of the south. Uh, West up to about 30 kilometers an hour. Nice clear skies and a cool 14 degrees waiting out right down there. Uh, on behalf of my colleague uh, Captain Robert Bryan, you and Captain Supervisor Emily, the entire team here at Virgin Strait has been a pleasure having you on board. We do trust you enjoyed our flight. We look forward to seeing you again next time. We do decide to travel with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Again, I've got no internet on board because I didn't pay for it but I could actually track my air tags and it's reassuring that they're all with me right now. We'll start our descent into Sydney Kingsford Smith Airport. I'll quickly conclude this report from Adelaide to Melbourne to Sydney right here right now. Our journey today started at Adelaide Airport. I was able to guess my friend who wasn't flying with me to the Virgin Australia Lounge which was a very nice perk and then a short flight to Adelaide the crew were amazing and friendly.
Before I headed out to the city, I checked out the lounge. Again, a very nice perk that you can go in after a flight. After a few hours, I went back to the same lounge and then again a short flight to Sydney. And I found the new seat to be a bit more comfortable. The seat back has a bit more curvature and overall a fun day flying with Virgin Australia. And if I see a good deal like this one flying via somewhere to my destination for a full day, I think I'll do it again. Now please enjoy the approach and landing into Sydney and I'll see you next week. Thank you and bye bye. Again guys, thank you so much for watching and a big shout out to my Patreon members and PayPal me supporters for their continuous support to my channel. See you next week when I upload another video, bye bye. Good evening everyone, the seatbelt sign has been switched off, both for your safety and best to keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you're seated. May I remind you that smoking, vaping or using e-cigarettes is not permitted any on board, including the toilets. If you would like time to eat or drink, our onboard menu is in your seat pocket. 